Investing in assets and watching them grow in value can be an incredibly rewarding experience. However, it's important to be aware of the tax implications that come along with your investments. Capital gains tax is a reality for many Canadians, and understanding how it works is essential for maximizing your returns while staying on the right side of the law. In this blog post, we will explore the concept of capital gains tax in Canada, its key components, and some tips to optimize your tax situation when it comes to selling your assets. Capital gains tax is a tax levied on the profits made from the sale of an asset, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or other investments. Essentially, when you sell an asset for more than you originally paid for it, the difference in value is referred to as a capital gain. In Canada, only a portion of your capital gains is subject to tax, which encourages Canadians to invest and create wealth for themselves. In Canada, the profit made from selling an asset is not subject to tax at its full value. Only 50% of your capital gain is considered taxable income. So, let's say you bought a stock for $10,000 and sold it a few years later for $20,000. Your capital gain would be $10,000, but only $5,000 would be subject to tax as taxable income. It's crucial to understand that the tax rate applied to your capital gains is the same as the tax rate applied to your other income. Thus, if you were in a high tax bracket, your capital gains tax rate will also be relatively high. Really high. Effective tax planning can help you minimize the amount of capital gains tax you pay. Here are a few strategies that can help you reduce your capital gains tax liability. Hold on to investments for more than a year. In some cases, holding on to investments for a longer period can result in lower capital gains taxes. This is because long-term capital gains tax rates can be more favorable than short-term rates. Spread out the gains over time. Rather than selling all of your assets at once, consider breaking up the sales over several years, so each sale results in a smaller amount of taxable capital gains. This may help you stay in a lower tax bracket. Offset gains with losses. If you have any investment losses, you can use these to offset your capital gains. This is often referred to as tax loss harvesting, and it's a key component of tax-efficient investing. Utilize tax-sheltered accounts. You can invest in assets within a registered retirement savings plan, RRSP, or tax-free savings account, TFSA, to shelter gains from taxes. Real estate investments are subject to capital gains tax in Canada. However, there is an important exemption for your principal residence. If you sell your primary residence, you may qualify for the principal residence exemption, PRE, which can exempt the entire capital gain on the sale from being taxed. However, there are certain conditions that need to be met for a property to qualify for the PRE, such as using the property as your residence throughout the period of ownership. If you sell an investment property, rental property, or a second home, you will need to pay capital gains tax on any profit you realize. Proper tax planning and being aware of specific tax rules can help you minimize the amount of tax you pay in these situations. Understanding how capital gains tax works in Canada is an essential aspect of smart investing. By being aware of the tax implications of selling assets and employing effective tax planning strategies, you can maximize your returns while staying compliant with the Canada Revenue Agency. Always consult with a tax professional to ensure you're making the right moves for your unique financial situation.